wasn't looking for no bad doll on you. Because we don't know anything about that. The trooper from the state trooper of Pennsylvania yeah. reached out to my son and told him that his DNA matched a person that was murdered in Carbon County. The state trooper came to my house and they interviewed me. And I, I, I gave them the description of Evelyn, what she had in her body. And they and the first thing that he said was, wow, that's Evelyn. Because I gave them the description that about the scar on the leg and about the mold in the face and about her tooth in the mouth, that she was having problems. And I told him she was white, light-skinned, she was white, with hazel eyes. Uh, I just want to... Thank uh, the state troopers, uh, you know, for doing a good job. who have been reaching out to me, you know, about this case, which, you know, it's helping out, you know. But it, like I said, this all started with my son. And he said, you know what, Dad, I'm going to keep the DNA to see if, if, I, could, if I could find Evelyn. And for his, his DNA to match her perfectly, I said, wow, this is incredible. I want people to know that she was a nice young lady, uh, never bothered anybody. She was always a mama's girl, you know, and she loved her family, but then, you know, things changed when she found out. So the last time we saw her, me and my mother, my sister, I was 17 years old and she was 15. It was in Jersey City and 2nd Street. You know, the boyfriend and her came by to visit us to explain that he had already found an apartment, you know, that he wanted to live with her. And, you know, she was already pregnant, you know, like going nine months pregnant. Uh, you know, so she wanted to have my parents give her the okay to move with the guy because she loved them. You know how it is that she found love. They got together. The last thing uh, that she was telling my mother was that if she could make some hot soup, some Spanish soup, you know, to bring it to her at uh, the apartment, you know. Uh, so a few days later, uh, you know, we ended up going over there to visit them to bring the soup. And all of a sudden, this lady came out and says, uh, who are you looking for? And, you know, and, you know, my father said, I'm looking for my daughter, Evelyn, and then they just said, oh, no, they, they moved out. So we thought that, you know, they just wanted to move out, you know, and, you know, be private. And I think it was in December of the week that she got, that she was murdered. The whole time that she was um, pregnant, so the family knew, and, and you guys had been in contact with her during her entire pregnancy? Yeah, okay. she lived with us. She didn't live with us every day. She used to stay with him sometimes. Boyfriend, he was our next door neighbor. You know, that's how she met him. We, we were neighbors. He was having problems with, with her mouth or tooth. And, you know, he, the boyfriend said, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. You know, I'm going to move. You know, she's going to move with me. Well, I want to take care of the baby. I'm going to take care of her, you know. So, you know, it, it led to us to believe that, wow, okay, so I guess he's, he's going to take care of her, you know. So my father said, okay, no problem. The problem was that, in January, the first week of January of 77, my mother received a letter from him, stamped from Connecticut, that he wrote that they not worry about them, that they already had the baby with the boy, you know. So we thought, oh, wow. So, you know, I guess everything's fine. They had a baby boy. Why would you write a letter and say that he had a baby boy, which was all a lie? And so we just found out that it was a baby girl. At any point, did your family report Evelyn as missing to the police? No, 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 we couldn't, no, because we already, we, after a couple of years, we went to the police department. But the police said in the station that you cannot report a person missing if they live with the, you know, if they live with the person or... Or, or she's held hostage, you know, from the boyfriend you know of. We said no. So when we showed them the letter, they're like, oh, no, well, you know, then just wait see what happens. And that was it. That was the end of it, you know. And we tried, we tried. We said, okay, well, then we just gave up a little bit and waited to see, if, you know, she would show up in Jersey City. I moved to Pennsylvania in 2002. My sister, my little sister was, she had a house in Indi Indian Mountain Lakes in Carbon County. <laughs> you know, not knowing that she was murdered in Carver County. Wow. My sister, other sister. So my sister lived in, in the Mount Lake. That's where I moved. I moved to her house. I was living there. 
and we never knew that we were close to the cemetery. It's not like we didn't try. We, we, we did what we could as a, as a family, you know. Mm-hmm. My mother died with, with pain, too, because she was always in the street, you know, and, you know, she didn't speak too much English, you know, and she cried every day in the window telling me, oh, I, I was heaven and was heaven, and, you know. My mother passed away not knowing about this either, so I, I took it hard because her last breath was fine heaven. And what about your father? Is he still living? No, he's dead. He died. He just died. He just died last year. He used to call me all the time. He says, have you, have you found Evelyn? Have you seen Evelyn on Facebook? Have you seen her? I said, Dad, I went all over freaking Facebook and the internet. When I saw this on, on the YouTube, Beth Doe, I'm like, wait a minute. December 20. I said, but that was the month that she moved in with the guy. And then it clicked to me about the letter. That a, a week later, two weeks later, he wrote the letter saying that they had a baby boy, and it was all lie. So now I know it was him. But I want to look at his eyes and ask him why. That's what I want to ask is why. You know, the baby. I, you know, that, that, that's another thing, the baby. Yeah. You know, that was his baby. You know, what what led to this? That's what I'm, you know, I want to tell him why, why.